This is the new um, Gemini balloon from Androtech. Um, this one, you can see it has two inflation ports, one for the inner balloon, which is marked in blue, and one for the outer balloon, which is marked in red. They're all part of the same um, sort of hub with the guide wire lumen in the center. So we just prep the balloon by flushing the guide wire lumen. Next is we'll do um, what's called a negative prep so that we don't um, actually spoil the profile of the balloon. Um, this sometimes matters when you're delivering over into tight lesions. Often we do prefer to spoil the profile of the balloon by doing a positive prep and pre-inflating the balloon, but we'll show the negative prep because that's often what, what we've used and we particularly use it in cases where the stent is already mounted on the balloon. But here we have an ordinary um, 10cc syringe with a small amount of fluid in it. And what we do is use the indeflator to create a negative um, suction, lock it. And then if you watch carefully on this, we just open this to let some of the fluid drop into the inner port. It, the inner usually takes very little fluid to prep it. The outer will use a lot more. And then we go this way, let it into the indeflator, and then put the uh, fluid back into the 10cc syringe. Clip, uh, redirect the tap so it's in continuity with this one. Pull again, lock, and then if we hold it up vertical, we can see the fluid drop back in again. And we do that three times is enough. So again, we eject the air and fluid back into the syringe, open this way, get it in continuity, pull negative again, and let this in. Okay, so that is the inner balloon prepped. The outer balloon, you can see this effect more obviously. So again, connecting the indeflator. It's usually a one in four contrast um, saline mix. So again, pull, again we pull, um, pull negative. Use the syringe here. Now that we have negative, you'll see how much will actually drop in when we open it. Some, but not too much actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to illustrate this a bit more, a bit more negative. And then if you watch carefully, you'll see by doing this, you can see how much it should descend. Though that wasn't as obvious as it often is. So again. So again, pull, pull a negative. There, you see how much the, actually you could see it better there where the de, um, syringe descended as it took the dead space. Then go back all around. And once more. Okay, get them lined up. Watch again, you'll see that as we do this, because we're under negative inside the balloon, you can see how much it should drop in by watching the syringe barrel move down. And then we get rid of all the dead space and air into that syringe that we're ready to do. So that's fairly good for the thing. You can see the inner balloon still has, you know, still under some negative. So we get just get rid of that. Okay. And that's the balloon reasonably well ready to go. Um, the positive prep is, is an easier prep. I can illustrate that now if you like. So we can start with the um, inner balloon. You can, see, you can see it moving up. And then the outer balloon. And you probably you get to see by doing a positive prep that you know, our negative prep really wasn't so bad. There aren't any huge bubbles in this balloon. Okay, and then as with, when you're doing all these balloons, often if you want to get the refold, a little bit of tension on the plastic, not on the shaft, but on the plastic, will often get you a negative, will get you a good refold. And you can see we just have the inner balloon inflated here. And here we are pulling again just to get it back down. 
So that's a reasonable refold. It's not a perfect refold, and you can work on that refold if you want. But it turns out this turns out that this sort of out of plane refold is actually a good setup for crimping a stent on because it's roughened up the balloon and left some you know uh, fluid inside. It makes for a much better better stent uh, crimp. Thank you.